Okay, well it's 5.09 and it's nearly time for me to turn the roast over. There's a nice roast, there's a lovely smell coming out here which you can't. So this is my uh, latest formulation which I think is going to be ideal for um, in the jar works sort of thing. So again I've got a star gel, turn it into like a mud sort of thing. It's a slightly different colour. So, uh, and so they only need enough to uh, do one spoonful basically, so that might actually be enough. So the idea is to uh, do our usual thing, get enough for a spoonful. But I think it needs to be worked a little bit more. Okay, and we're losing the light of course. Get it. As I said, I don't want it to be, I want a system that is reasonably accurate, but I don't want it to be, you know, I've seen students doing, you know, the last zero you know point zero zero one sort of thing and I don't think that's what we want we want to so you can actually go slightly under or slightly over and still you want it to work you know okay well that's that's the guts of it now we're going to add the uh, add the agar which I think we've basically pretty much worked out it's two level spoons basically seems to work pretty well so um Hopefully I've got, still got enough left here, I don't have to go into town and buy any more. Just slightly over one there. And do another one. Well, can get enough. What with this wind and everything. Yep, there we go, that should be enough. And we just wrap up the packet. And go from there. Now we get our hot water. And a spoon again. Oh, better get the um, the packets, the, the things ready. Otherwise, we won't be able to. So they do all these packaging things, and they're quite hard to, uh, you know, get going. If you want to do something very quickly, so we've got to get the lids out of the way. I think we're going to do two. I think try and do like 300 mils in each one, sort of thing. I think these are 500 mil containers. See, this is what I don't like is they get stuck some of them sometimes. So you don't get that with glass jars sort of thing. There we go. So we've got two there. Get our spoon ready. Pour in our hot water up to the line. Sort of thing. Yeah, up to the neck, which is 600 mils near near as damn it, as you can probably see. <laughs> Joke there. And uh, we'll give it a good stir. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, one, two, thirty, seven, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. So we should be at two hundred, and then we just go on like that and like that, and basically I think we're done. That's the idea anyway. And we're basically just left with a bit of sand in the bottom of that, so you know, that's good. So we've got a, a slightly higher one and a slightly lower one, but you know, who cares, you know. Um, it's just a trial run, and we let that cool down and set, and we put the lids on, and we can drop something in it tonight, basically, you know. Um, yeah, simple, quick, and if it works, well, it's going to be the um, simple, quick, and if it works, it's going to be the future of um, home hobby tissue culture, I would think. You know, start off with things, simple things like CPs, move out to, um, you know, terrestrial native orchids or something like that, and, uh, yeah. But look at that flooding over there. Obviously, um, they didn't design it properly. You need a bloody gutter all the way along that, that line, I think. But you can't have that, especially when once we've had it laid with the pavers and stuff, we're going to have to have extra drains down the side, so otherwise it's going to flood our neighbour or something like that, so... 
Yeah, I think we're going to have to have the people from Power Mountain back again. They're going to have to put a gutter along there, I reckon. Yeah, that gutter down there is just not adequate enough. You know? Yeah, design flaw. Design error. Yeah. Oh. Yep, yeah. <laughs> the old architect's going to get a bit of a wrap, wrap, wrap around the knuckles, I reckon. Hasn't done his experiments in, on the, the, the small scale. You know, hasn't done what I've been doing, you know. Doing a little experiment on the small scale. Those little model things where they move the lights right around to show, you know, what, what the sunlight and the moonlight does at various times of the year and all that sort of stuff. Well, that's why they paid the big bucks, isn't it? You know, they go to architectural school, they get to play with all the little toys. So that when they go out in the real world, they, they know how important those little toys are to get things like this so it doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you see, this is where it counts. This is why you, you're supposed to, this is why we like to pay you the big bucks because you're supposed to stop these things from happening. You know, that's what science is all about. You know, you play on the small scale first, work out all the bugs and then you move up to the big scale. So eventually when you've got it all working, you can have a whole shed load of these churning out a thousand plants a week sort of thing at a dollar each, you know. Not bad income, a thousand bucks a week, fifty-two thousand dollars a year. Not to be laughed at. I mean, dollar fly traps, you know, a thousand a week, fifty-two thousand dollars a year. I could be happy with that. I'm not greedy. But anyway, it's um, five fifteen, and um, yeah. <laughs> and imagine if we can do it with Saracenia. It's just a little a square of Saracenia material from the from the from the actual lower end of the pictures. A thousand Saracenias a week. Mmm, interesting. Yes. Plenty of hybrids on the market you can buy and uh, to multiply. You don't have to actually make your own bloody hybrid these days. There's plenty, plenty of them out there. Anyway, that's about it. We'll do some more work on that tomorrow, if we've got the light. Friday's supposed to be a sunny day, so I, I'm five trips down at the moment. I've got five trips to do and uh, I just don't know which one to do now. I might try and squeeze two into a day to get them down, you know, knock off four in two days sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a strain on me. But then again, we've only got one season. And I don't know if I'm going to be around for much longer. So, you know, I've got to get them in somehow. Okay, over and out.